Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing .com. So in this video, we'll talk about web element commands. So web element commands is nothing but uh, web element uh, different methods. Okay. So these are the different methods uh, available. So using these these methods, we'll perform different actions. Okay. So let me just recap what we have seen earlier. Like we have uh, talked about the browser specific commands and the browser navigation commands. So let's have a look like what are the different web element commands available. So in Eclipse, I'll create separate class. Element. Web element commands. I'll select public static void min. I'll copy the few lines of code from other classes from this class okay and I'll navigate to any URL driver.gate using get method so let me take any uh, demo website from my blog so let's take orange HRM okay and what is the first one we have send keys okay so let's inspect this so send keys is used to send the values okay send the data to a web element so in this input box i want to uh, type username right so let me just inspect it first So we have ID as uh, txt username, so we can take that. So driver dot find element by dot id, and we'll put the id over here. And now we have send keys method, right? So if you mouse over send keys, here we have information about send keys. Use this method to simulate typing into an element, okay, which may set its value. So we want to set the value uh, to that particular input box, right? So here we can set the value. Send keys. What is the username? Admin. Okay. So this is the uh, send keys. Now next is clear. So I want to clear that uh, this whatever we have typed admin. So we are sending admin, right? And I want to clear that as well. So let me just clear that. Simply copy paste this above line of code and then put it over here. And instead of sending send keys, I'll use clear command here. We have clear method. So if you mouse over here, so it returns nothing. But if this element is text entry element, and this will clear the value. Okay. So simply use this clear method and let's wait uh, let's put some weight over here okay two seconds of weight 2000 milliseconds and add throws declaration now let me just run this program So it is launching the browser and navigating to orange HRM website and then it will it is typing admin and then it clears it okay so this about uh, send keys and clear command and let's have another one what we have 
we have click command okay click so let me just click on this for forgot your password okay so let's inspect this we can take this text okay so let's do that driver dot find element by dot link text so we copied the link link text forget uh, forgot your password and dot we have click operation so click this element so this is used to click on any web element okay so click let's use the click command here let me run again and let's use driver dot close at last and before that i'll put some weight so that we can clearly uh, see that like it clicked on and the new page will open two seconds of wait it's launching the browser maximized it and navigating to orange hrm website admin typed cleared and then clicked on forgot your password okay and at last close the browser so this is how we can work with click command and what is next we have a uh, get text okay so let's use this same one uh, forgot your password okay let's copy paste this and let's comment and instead of click we want to get the text okay so here we have get text method so what it does get the visible text of this element including sub elements okay it returns uh, the visible text of this element so let me just and this is a string it returns a string right so so simply what i will do i'll store in a string variable str and simply i'll print it over here uh, link text is and i'll give str over here let me just run it again okay so here you can see link text is forgot your password so this is the usage of this get text method so we can get the visible text on any web element and uh, we have these three methods is selected is enabled and is displayed okay so let me just give a demo on this so let's uh, check this uh, button okay let's right click and inspect that uh, button so what is the id we have open id login okay so simply we'll type driver dot find element by dot id simply i put the id and what is the first method is displayed okay what is the second one is enabled okay and simply I'll copy this line of code again and I'll change the method is selected so first of all let's see what uh, uh, what do you mean by this is displayed right so is displayed it returns boolean value okay 
is this element displayed or not so we need to uh, will check whether it element is displayed or not this method avoids the problem of having to parse an elements style attribute okay so basically it, it checks whether uh, element is displayed or not this is to whether element is enabled or it is disabled uh, basically it checks that is this element currently enabled or not okay and this is determine whether or not this element is selected or not okay so what i'll do i'll store in boolean uh, variable okay all these values so let's use d here d variable and selected d for displayed enabled and selected okay and let's print all of these values all of these variables is displayed is enabled and is selected simply I'll write E over here and what is this S yes. let me just run this program again So here you can see the results is displayed yes true because this is displayed like login button okay and is enabled false because I'm not able to click on this so this is not enabled this is disabled okay so this is false and the last one is is selected that is also false so we are not able to select this as well right so this is not like checkbox or radio button or any other web element so that i mean we can select it right so the, we are not able to select this so that's why it is false false is enabled and is selected uh, let me just give uh, another uh, example let's inspect this one this login button okay so what is the id btn login just copy the same and simply i'll change this uh, ID over here rest will be the same okay and simply I'll rerun this program again So here you can see is displayed true is enabled true because this is this button is enabled right this is enabled right we can uh, we are able to click on this particular uh, button right so it says like username cannot be empty so since we have not entered username and password so it gives message like this but this button is not enabled here if i click over here it doesn't give because since it is not uh, enabled so it, it won't give any message or anything okay so that's why this is enabled for this button is uh, true and is selected again it falls because we are not able to select this particular button uh, we cannot select uh, select the button right if it is like checkbox or ready button then we can select it easily so this is the usage of uh, these uh, three uh, very important methods is displayed enabled and is selected now let's have a look what uh, what are the different uh, other uh, methods so get attribute okay so let's take the this username one
okay i am taking this username this username field okay so this is the id and instead of clear i'll put get attribute so what it returns uh, what it says get the value of the given attribute of the element so let me just give i want id attribute of this element okay and i'll store this in a string so this, since this returns a string so i'll store in string id is equal to this and let me just print it id is okay let's run this program So here you can see id is text username okay because this field has uh, id as this is the attribute right these are all attributes name id type so here id is text txt username so it returns txt username over here by using this get attribute method okay so similarly we have get size get css value get location submit and get tag name so let me just uh, show you like uh, what are those methods take an example of uh, gate size now what it says dimension okay so basically it uh, returns what is the width and height of the rendered element so it will display the height of height and width of the element okay so what it returns the size of element on the page basically dimension what is the next one get css css value so this will return the css value of that particular element get the value of given css property okay and we have tag name as well get the tag name of this element not the value of the attribute so here it gives uh, a very good uh, example also uh, this input will return for this input tag right so this will uh, here we have input tag so it will return input and uh, we have submit submit is used to submit form so probably we'll uh, look for this submit in the next video in coming videos okay so void submit it, it, it doesn't return anything if this current element is of form is a form or an element within a form then this will be submitted to the remote server to submit a form we use this submit button uh, submit uh, method okay and what else yeah we are done get location so what it returns a point containing to the location of top left hand and corner of the element okay so these are the different uh, methods available so you can explore what are the different uh, methods available and by using mouse over you can understand what uh, what are the different information it contains okay so this is all about uh, web elements related uh, commands okay so thank you guys for watching have a nice day Bye-bye.